I want you to be nice until it's time to not be nice. Who the fuck is that guy? Immediately, we are off to a good start and feeling very comfortable with the squat. It's one of the exercises Connor uses. He enjoys free weights. Well, this is one of the best ones out there, especially if you have a busy schedule like his. I can't imagine the workload he has to deal with every single day, training for fighting. He's got acting, he's got all his businesses, and he has a growing family. Well, with a compound like the squat, you are working many different muscle groups. They're all coming together to make this one work. Got your hamstrings, your glutes, your quads, your calves, your lower back, your core. That is an amazing bang for the buck. So squats, if you're physically able to do it, is an exercise we always recommend, and it's very comforting to see that it's one of his mainstay exercises as well. One thing we read that Connor really considers when training is a lot of it is mental. And coming back from what he did, he broke his tibia, fibula, that takes a lot of mental fortitude to try and get back to where you were, hopefully even surpass where you were. And I've also broken my tibia and fibula. And there's two ways you can go about looking at it. You can get really down, which is very easy to do because it's kind of amazing how fast you can lose a lot of the progress you've made over 10, 20 plus years, however long you've been training. But you can also look at it strangely enough as a new beginning because it gives you a big goal. You're trying to get back to where you were. And then of course, if you're lucky and if you're driven, you can even get beyond that, which I consider myself having been able to have done. And I'm sure knowing someone like him who has a very strong mental outlook on life, that's probably what he's trying to do as well. And from the looks of it, he's done a pretty damn good job. So sometimes you just gotta get in there, you gotta start the recovery process, and you gotta set those new goals because it can really be the deciding factor. It's the positivity and it's the mental aspect. On to the dead hang pull-ups, another big compound exercise. Another staple of Connor's routine, and he has a very unique way of doing it, more of a chin up with a little bit of elbow tuck action in the end there. Sorry, Connor, but my tennis elbow is not allowing me to perform your unique way of performing the chin up. So we're sticking with the traditional pull up. Again, excellent compound exercise. It can be performed body weight. It's a tough one to do, but it's a great one to eventually learn how to do. The dead hang pull ups is increasing the difficulty by quite a bit. You're really releasing all the tension that's created in that shoulder girdle, shoulder blade area, the scapula. You're just kind of letting go, it's really loose, um, and it's really elevating uh, the traps, your arms. So really kind of pulling them all the way down. Everything's loose and you're just hanging, and that's gonna create a lot more necessity and stimulation of you trying to depress your scapula, pull down your traps, your lats, and then all of a sudden going into the full pull up, the biceps, core is really having to stay strong to get you up at that top position. It's really just the full range of motion. You think of muscles as almost like a rubber band is as they stretch and elongate, they're almost creating that elasticity and that energy within them if you keep the tension in there and then you can quickly go up. So when you're doing a dead hang, it's a lot harder to really start from scratch basically. Love these ones, definitely a little bit of a new challenge. It makes it very difficult, but it is uh, definitely worth it. You just take the bicep, the bicep grip over here and you pull the elbows in, you pull it, you make it really tight into the inner parts right here. It's just squeeze, it's like hitting the brick wall. Moving on to the bench press, another big compound exercise. You're recruiting many different muscles. You got your chest, but you also got your anterior deltoids, you got your triceps, the secondary muscle groups worked. Another big bang for your buck exercise. So if you are limited on time, this is a great one to keep in your workout arsenal, along with the pull-ups, along with the squats. You're getting an excellent full body workout, which Connor is a big fan of, and we are too. No sense of reinventing the wheel, man. These exercises have been around for a long, long time, and they're gonna stay around for a long, long time because they're just that good. They get a lot done. And uh, that's why you're gonna always see athletes perform these kind of exercises, these big compound movements, either be bench press or squats or some of the more like power moves like the clean or the snatch or whatever, you just can't beat them. I mean, it gets so much done in such a short amount of time when you're doing full body and it just feels damn good. Is the new Roadhouse going to live up to the schlocky classic appeal of the original? You wanna fight, dickless? You had Patrick Swayze. 
you had Sam Elliott, you had iconic lines. My only question is who's going to deliver those lines to who? Is it going to be Jake Gyllenhaal to Connor or Connor to Jake Gyllenhaal? Time will tell. I used to fuck guys like you in prison. Uh. 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 Oh. It was the golden five all along. <laughs> it was. The secret was the golden five. <laughs> And Overhead Press is one of the golden five working on those boulder shoulders. Uh, Connor has that and more. You know, I would say he has an excellent case of the invisible lat syndrome, but his lats are pretty visible, so um, he willed it to life. When he was a boy, he was holding those two little <laughs> invisible TVs, and as a man, he just kept upgrading. Now he's got like the big widescreen 70 inches, and uh, this is gonna help with that illusion, someone with a smaller waistline, like Connor, you got the bigger shoulders, you got that big V going on, so. Um, it's helped him both athletically, but also visually as well. I gotta say, I love this exercise. A few different reasons why I love it is that it's a longer, further range of motion than a typical uh, crunch. If you're just on the floor, you're just crunching up, your back is flat, you're really only flexing in the spine and then kind of laying back on the floor and relaxing. With these ones, you're really creating a lot of extension in your spine there and then force to flex from that really great stretch in your abdominals and get that good contraction crunch before then releasing and get more of that kind of eccentric motion, not only in your abdominals, but also your lower back. So there's still a lot of lower back involved as well because that's kind of like balance, that positioning going back and forth there. So you're getting the lower back and the abs, which of course is going to be the core there. And one of the things you'll see a lot of people do as a mistake in this exercise is They'll keep their back flat and they're really just pulling down with their hip flexors here. There's not going to be a lot of range of motion or flexion in their spine, but really you got to think about it's all about the flexion and extension of the spine and that's it. So you kind of try to keep those hip flexors in place and really bend at the spine before releasing and extending. But awesome exercise. Definitely gives a good app pump, that's for sure. That wraps up the Conor McGregor Roadhouse workout. <sighs> Feeling pretty damn good, full body. Feel pumped, feel ready. Let's go Conor, me and you. <laughs> We're gonna do a two on one. <laughs> yeah, I think that'd be better. And we'll, okay. you can drink a bottle of your proper 12 and then we'll take you Yeah, one. oh for sure. Yeah, yeah. sounds so, good. So anytime you're up for that stipulation, we're ready. Yeah. Sign the dotted line. Sign it. Yeah. <laughs>